Hi guys, it's currently Sunday the 3rd of June 2018 and welcome to week 125 of my weight loss journey. In last week's video we all saw I managed to maintain my weight again at 176.6 kilograms which is 389.2 pounds or 27 stone 11.2 pounds and my body mass index remained the same at 51.6. Let's begin by reviewing my calorie consumption for the past week, which we can see in the graph above. The average of this was 2,736, compared to the previous week at 2,682. So I have crept over my allowance there by 36. It's not a huge amount, but it can be detrimental to my weight loss uh, result. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But if we now look at my step count, which we can also see in the graph above, the average of this was 7,499 compared to the previous week at 5,747. So as you can see on Monday, I did do my Sheffield Canal walk, which was a great walk. And if you are interested, here's a little snippet of uh, that day out. Hi guys, I'm currently next to the Sheffield Canal. I'm here to do another walk along it to judge my fitness level. The weather's overcast, but it's not forecast to rain, but it is supposed to get a lot sunnier. Come lunchtime, it's what? 10 o'clock in the morning. And, oh yeah, my current step count. Let's do that, what is my current step count? Okay, so at the start of it, I'm at 1,153 steps so far today. Well, I've reached the halfway point. I'm at Sheffield Victoria Keys. And what time is it? It's quarter past 12. And I've done 10,004 steps so far. turning into quite a nice day, a nice sunny day. Just set off from the Victoria Keys. So I'm on my return journey now. So hopefully in an hour, an hour and a half, I should get back to the car. But yeah, it's turning out to be a really lovely day. I've actually really surprised myself. I'm actually doing really well on this walk. On my back is fine, my lower back's fine, my legs are fine, I've still got plenty of energy, finding this walk a lot easier than compared to the very first time. It's so quiet along the canal, you would never expect that you're in the city centre of a busy city. It's so tranquil. So as you can see I just passed the Sheffield Arena. That puts me at three quarters of the way through this walk feel absolutely fine all my muscles I still feel they've got lots of energy a little bit out of breath but still going strong got a bit of a sweat on and step count wise currently done 15,000 and something steps so, my feet though, wearing two pairs of walking socks. Granted, they're new shoes and they've not really been worn in yet. 
but my feet are starting to hurt even with two pairs of walking socks on so my feet are nice and snug in the shoe but uh, especially my little toes you can feel them rubbing against the side ouch but uh, really pleased that I decided to come along and do this walk again and it is proving that the weight that I've lost so far has made a dramatic difference to my fitness level so this walk is about eight eight miles eight or nine miles and uh, I'll have done it in about three three and a half hours compared to the first time I did it which well, it took me about five hours five and a half hours maybe even six hours so I am really impressed with myself what I'm achieving at this moment in time. So as you can see behind me, the Tinsley Viaduct is there. So that means I've pretty much finished my walk. Just doing the last few steps to my car. I've done about 18,000 steps just over. So I'm quite happy with this. We'll do, I think, nearly 19,000, 20,000 by the time I get to the car, but we'll find out in a bit. I've just got back to my car, as you can see. And my total step count is 19,086 as of yet today. And it's 10 past three. I had an hour rest to drink whilst I was at Victoria Keys. So I've dramatically improved my times. And uh, I'm, I am impressed, but it's really warm now. I'm absolutely sweating buckets. But I'm ready for my dinner. And now that's what I'm going to do, go home and have my dinner. As you all know, every five weeks I retake my body measurements to see if I've made any losses in that area too. So here are my latest body measurements. Out of the 14 body measurements which I monitor, I've seen a reduction in one of those. I've seen a one inch or 2.5 centimeter reduction from my hips. So in the 125 weeks that I've been doing this weight loss journey, I have lost a total of 86.6 inches, which is 220 centimeters. It's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any more weight. So here it is guys, here's my weighing. I weigh 176.6 kilograms, which is 389.2 pounds, or 27 stone, 11.2 pounds. This means in the last week, I've maintained again. I would never have guessed that, because after that eight mile walk on Monday, I thought that would have been a fantastic boost to seeing a weight loss. But hey, I'm wrong on that one. But let's compare what I did at Slimming World, which you can see right here. At Slimming World this week, I also saw a maintain result. This maintain result means my body mass index remains the same at 51.6 and my third weight loss target also remains the same at 17.1% complete. So in the 125 weeks I've been doing this weight loss journey, I have lost a total of 152 pounds, which is 68.9 kilograms or 10 stone, 12 pounds. Next week, I don't have any big walks planned, but I'm still hoping to do between five and 6,000 steps per day. And my food choices are gonna remain the same, and I'm hoping I'll just break through this maintain cycle in my next weigh-in. Uh, hopefully, I won't see another maintain result, but it's still better at the end of the day from seeing a gain result. But other than that, guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's video. As always, if you'd like to continue hopefully seeing less of me, why don't you subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. 
I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you all again next Sunday.